are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for returning back here. If you are a returning subscriber, but if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And hit subscribe, click on that notification bell. It is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So dear friends, guess what? Today's video is the video that everyone has been waiting for. I saw this in the last video that I uploaded. You people have been asking me, Bella, where is the story? <laughs> That's why I am here today. Today's video is going to be a story time of a Congolese lady based in Ghana by the name of Mariana, a single mother of six who found love on online dating apps at the age of 39. She found love with a German guy. His name is Stefan, 40 years old. So my dear sisters, if you are a single mother here watching this story, no matter the number of your kids, this story will help you very, very much. You will learn lots, lots of things. It's going to encourage you so much, inspire you a lot but not only for single mothers even if you are not a mother yet but you are on online dating apps searching for that right man by watching this story it will give you energy to keep pushing knowing that if it happened for mariana a single mother of six why not you so this video is really amazing we will enjoy so so much it's a juicy love story so without wasting much of your time we should jump into this video because it's gonna be a long one <laughs> so guys like i said mariana is a single mother of six and i know you who is watching this video now you're asking yourself lots of questions like how did it happen and sometimes when people come across a title like this or a thumbnail they start judging because they don't know where this lady came from that is why i am here to begin this story with her past love relationship experience yes we know she is a single mother yes of course she has got her past love relationship experience but we should dig a little bit deeper to know was she in a relationship with a congolese guy because she is from congo or she was in a love relationship before with a ghanaian guy let's find out what really happened and i know exist some ladies who are going through what mariana went through before finding love on online dating apps so this will help you really really a lot so friends mariana's story starts in congo because grew up in congo tells us near her home had this big company which had lots of white men so as a young little girl <laughs> used to see this white man and told herself when i grow up i want to get married to a white man you know guys when you are young in your teenage age you have got lots of dreams and things that you want to achieve when you grow up so that was mariana <laughs> so she grew up and eventually relocated to ghana so after relocating to ghana yes she was old enough to start dating having a relationship but tells us forgot her childhood dream of getting married to a white man <laughs> and found this black African guy. He was not from Ghana. He was from another country, but living in Ghana as Mariana. And they started dating. Everything was super, super good. The guy was really, really loving. Their relationship kept on growing. Eventually, they started living together as husband and wife, but they were not married yet so they lived together and mariana got pregnant for her first child then the second child came when the second child came the father to her two kids told her that wanted to get married to her so she was like okay we can get married and as the guy was planning to get married to mariana you know make it legal 
talk to his mother on the phone because the mother wasn't in Ghana. <laughs> so as he talked to the mother, the mother was like, if you're going to get married to Mariana, you need to also take the second wife and the third wife because Mariana tells us the guy was from a polygamous family whereby Mariana was coming from a Christian family and polygamy wasn't accepted at all in her family it wasn't something that mariana was okay with so after mariana talking to the father of her kids that she wasn't okay for him to take the second wife and the third wife the guy was like do not listen to my mother i won't follow what she's telling me i will stick to you only one woman mariana said okay they kept on with their relationship but never legally got married mariana told herself i'm going to keep on this relationship so that my kids can have one father so as the relationship continued mariana had her third child and her fourth child when she had her fourth child, the guy was like, you know what? Now I think my mother makes sense. I'm going to take the second wife and the third wife. And that's where the relationship started going on crisis. Because Mariana was still insisting that she is not ready. The guy takes the second wife and the third wife. Eventually, Mariana stood on her ground and the relationship with the father of her four kids. So that is how her first relationship ended. So guys, after Mariana decided to end the relationship with the baby daddy of her four kids, they went separate ways. And after that, Mariana kept on taking care of her kids as a single mother. Tells us she remained single for lots of years. And after lots of years, they say time heals. So she felt like was ready to start dating again, you know, fall in love again. And yes, found another black African man. They fell in love, started dating. They dated for a while. And while they were dating, they were living separately. Mariana was living with the kids and the guy was living alone. But due to the love, you know, it matured. <laughs> they were inseparable. And that led Mariana to move in with the kids into the guy's house. Started living together as a big happy family. Everything was really good. Mariana tells us at first, all was good. Everything was going really smoothly. And after started living together, Mariana had her fifth child. And then after her fifth child came another child. So Mariana at that time had six kids. So after having her sixth kid, things started changing. The guy started acting very, very weird. And Mariana tells us the relationship started being toxic, not only to her, even to the kids. So eventually she had to choose either to keep on with the relationship and keep her child in that toxic relationship or choose to end that relationship for the mental health of her kids. <laughs> and eventually guys, what Mariana chose chose her kids over that relationship because she couldn't keep on with that toxic relationship involve the kids keep torturing the kids because guys i told you once in the video i did about single mothers i was giving you some advice that please do not make a mistake of dating a guy that is toxic because when a guy is toxic it will not only affect you it's gonna affect your kid and most of the times we ladies i don't know maybe because sometimes we become very selfish think only about ourselves and not our kids but trust me if you're going through a toxic relationship your kid gets affected very very much it will stick to his mind it will affect him or her till he or she grows up so with this i'm very very proud of mariana to choose her kids over that toxic relationship and you who is watching this video if you're going through a very toxic relationship please please don't be like i have three kids four kids what will be of me if i leave this man even mariana tells you 
your kids comes first. So your kids should come first and you come the second. You need to love yourself to an extent that you leave that toxic relationship. We can also see Mariana left the first guy because the guy wanted to marry the second wife, the third wife, which wasn't what Mariana wanted in her life and decided to move out of that relationship. So I still insist on this. If it is not what you want, do not stick to it. Do not go for it. If you're going through a very toxic relationship, guys, I know going through a separation, going through a divorce is never easy. And I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. No, it's going to be really, really hard. But once you move out of that toxic relationship, God is going to give you the energy to keep moving. God will give you the energy to take care of your kids. Stop keeping on torturing yourself. Stop keeping on torturing your kids if you are in a toxic relationship. And to add on this, don't wait for people to tell you, leave that relationship. It's toxic. No girl, it should start within you. You need to love yourself enough, be courageous enough, be like, it's enough. I can't keep on letting a man torture me like this. You deserve happiness, yes. And your kids too deserves to be happy, not to be in a relationship whereby all the time they are scared what is gonna happen to mommy. So guys, after Mariana chose her kids over, that toxic relationship was very, very disappointed in men and gave up on love. Was like, I am going to concentrate only on my kids and work, take care of my kids. But love with me? No. <laughs> this is the end. Things were here. <laughs> <laughs> like I always tell you, yes, and I can imagine, guys, it's not an easy situation, I'm telling you. And as a human being, it's okay to feel disappointed, yeah. So yes, she did like she promised herself to work and take care of her kids, no more love. <laughs> But due to her schedule, she could go to work early in the morning and return at 6 or 7 p.m. at home. And when she returns, the kids are alone. No man in the house could cook for the kids, prepare them to bed. When the kids could go to bed, started feeling very, very bored and so, so lonely. Oh my God, loneliness hey, can really hit you so bad. So she really felt very, very lonely because wanted someone to talk to when the kids have gone to bed, but no man was on her side. So now we go to how she came to know about dating apps. Tells us a new about dating apps through a friend. So after feeling so bored and lonely, when she comes back, from work, the kids are in bed, was like, I think I should try online dating, but wasn't a hundred percent sure that it could work out. So told herself, I'm gonna try if it works, that's good. But if it doesn't work, it's okay too. So when Mariana joined online dating apps was October 2021. Started with a dating app called Bumble. I think I recommended to you this in my last video. <laughs> yeah, so she joined Bumble, but oh my goodness. What was there, it was really, really frustrating. She could meet lots, lots of players all the time. It seemed like every man on that dating app was just there to play games. Then after using Bumble for some time, decided to try Tinder out. So she tried Tinder for five days and after five days from nowhere, chatted with a guy and then immediately her account was suspended, blocked. Was so shocked by that, kept on asking herself what happened. Maybe that guy went and reported me, but I never did anything wrong. So with Tinder, it just ended like that, kept on using Bumble. And along the way, one day was on YouTube, YouTube recommended to her one of my videos. Watched it and really liked it. <laughs> 
<laughs> guys she's my baby too <laughs> when i say she's my baby i think you understand but if you don't understand just keep watching till the end you will know why i'm calling her my baby <laughs> So she kept on watching my videos, watching my videos, and from October till December, still had not come across a serious guy, gave up completely, decided to delete all dating apps and be on her own. <laughs> So guys, yes, she deleted all dating apps but kept on watching my videos and tells us January 2022 decided to return back to online dating apps after watching one of my videos that I uploaded and told you about online dating apps to try out. So she watched that video picked one of the dating app and decided to give it a try. That's January 2022. So guys, after joining that dating app, tells us did not pay, was chatting with only guys that were paying. Just like I have been advising you. And another thing this lady tells us that really made me so happy, <laughs> proud of myself, was like, Bella, I could watch every single video that you could upload and I could note down everything. Put everything into practice. Not only watch my videos, but put all the advice that I could give in the videos into practice. This is a tip for you guys. I know I've been doing videos of advice. You don't like them, most of you. <laughs> I can see the difference when I upload a story time and the videos of advice because <laughs> you guys only want to listen to story times. But because I'm not here only for the views, I'm here to give you the information that will help you. You don't stay here watching me for five years and still single. That is unacceptable to me. That is why I keep bringing advice, 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 advice so that yes, you watch me, but eventually you find the one. So you who has been watching me every time I upload a new video, first of all, thank you so much. But please put all the advice that I give into practice. You will see the results, just like Mariana. So guys, after joining that dating app that I'm going to be sharing with you before this video ends, and she was chatting to only the guys that were paying on that dating app, yes, she faced some challenges. Though she was chatting with guys who were paying, and this answers your question that you have been asking yourself. But Bella, you are telling us to chat with men who are paying. So that means those guys who are paying are serious. <laughs> no guys, I talked about this. A guy paying on a dating app shouldn't blind your eyes and be like, oh, he is a serious one. That's why he is paying. No, he is paying, yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> Number one, as a serious guy that is looking for love, we give him a tick. But not all ticks, because we have to confirm if there are some red flags. Yeah. So she faced challenges, though she was chatting with guys who were paying. And one of the biggest challenge as a single mother of six could chat with a guy, everything good. The guy is like, I like you so much. Some of them could promise, I want to come see you. <laughs> and you know them, some of the guys will tell you even they are crazily in love with you already. <laughs> but after some time when she could be like, I am a single mother of six, all the interest could disappear. The guys could start ghosting her. It made her feel very, very bad at first, but tells us after watching my videos, me telling you that these things are normal. If the guy sees you that you are a single mother of six kids and he starts ghosting you or he loses interest, it shouldn't hurt you. That means that guy is not for you. So you shouldn't cry for a guy like that because it's not worth it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it shouldn't put your self-esteem down or you start being like, why did I have all these kids? Starting looking at your kids like a challenge. No, 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 no. Kids are a blessing 
and you know things happen in life so you can't let this guy start making you punish yourself for having kids so she listened to my advice and what she could do if a guy could ghost her or if a guy could come and then lose interest could not run after a guy would not chase that guy no she could keep on moving forward so i told you she rejoined online dating apps january 2022 it went till september 24th that day she was on online dating apps browsing through men's profiles and she was really interested in finding a guy who is from the netherlands a Dutch guy but that day he came across a profile that caught her attention <laughs> not a Dutch guy but his photos were very very decent very normal not those photos that are so exaggerated a guy with fancy cars or you find a guy on a boat <laughs> <laughs> or on a private jet <laughs> no guys his photos were not like that they were just simple photo his profile showed her that this guy might be genuine so what she decided to do sent him the first message i've been telling you guys of you making the approach and eventually god has answered my prayer because <laughs> this is the second time I am hearing a success story of a lady who first sent the message to the guy. And before I continue, I give you a tip. Please, dear beautiful ladies, keep making the first approach. Don't wait to be found. There is competition. Maybe the right one is going to be so difficult to get to your profile. But if you send him that first message, of course, he will notice you. <laughs> so what Mariana did after going through the profile, liked the guy, then if he was a German guy, sent him the first message, but her first message was way, way different to what I've been advising you. And I think this was her luck. Yes, she just sent a hello. <laughs> So after sending hello to this German guy, his name is Stefan. The guy came after 30 minutes, read her message, and also viewed her profile. She got a notification that he viewed her profile, <laughs> but never responded. Ow, oh, it hurts, right? <laughs> I know the feeling guys send the message and then the guy reads the message views your profile but doesn't respond you feel like oh my god what's happening so when Mariana saw that was like mm, maybe this guy is not interested ah, it's okay cuz I've told you guys if a guy is not interested it's not a crime let him go <laughs> the one who is interested will come so mariana was in the middle of doing something and kept on doing what she was doing believing that stefan was not interested in her that is why he read the message and never responded even after going through her profile so after one hour <laughs> that's when Stefan returned and responded to her message, to her hello. And from there, they started chatting, chatting, the communication flowing and flowing and flowing. So Stefan was like, because everything is, you know, going good, can we please exchange phone numbers? Mariana was like, no, we are not going to exchange phone numbers till i am sure that you are serious so Stephen was like okay no problem they kept on communicating this is a serious guy because those guys that you tell them please i don't know you well let's get to know each other see if we really like each other then move to whatsapp they start telling you no then if you're telling me like that you're not interested if you're telling me like that then you are not serious immediately they lose interest if you find a guy like that girl block him after because that's not a serious guy a guy who has seen something special in you you know what if you tell him wait he's gonna wait because he really wants you <laughs> 
here. So they kept on chatting on that dating site, kept on chatting every single day. And after a week, Stefan was like, you know what, Mariana, please, I want to get out of this dating site. Let's exchange WhatsApp numbers. And after a week, Mariana was convinced already that this guy might be serious. That's when she decided to exchange phone numbers with him. So with this, I am going to be telling you a little bit of, of Stefan's story on his side concerning his love story with Mariana. And I'll talk something about exchanging WhatsApp numbers. So after exchanging WhatsApp numbers, they kept on chatting for another week. And that's when Stefan asked Mariana to be his girlfriend. She was really, really happy and accepted to be his girlfriend. And from there, after saying yes, that's when they both decided we should switch off our accounts on that dating site. And yes, that's what they did. So they kept on communicating. But guys, something that you should know, Mariana risked. <laughs> Because even after two weeks of communicating, she had not seen Stefan on camera to know whom she is dealing with. But guys, this wasn't Stefan's fault. No, it's because Mariana wasn't ready, was really, really nervous to talk on camera. But eventually, Stefan pressed and kept on pressing, wanting a video call. And after two weeks, Mariana was like, okay, I am ready. Let's talk on a video call. So they talked on a video call, saw each other. They were really, really happy to see each other on camera, finally. <laughs> and all was good. It made their relationship even more stronger. I told you guys, Talking on a video call is very, very important. Never ignore that. For whatever reason a guy will give you, make sure you see him on a video call. So guys, after one month of chatting, Stefan took the relationship to the next step. I told you guys, if you want to know that your relationship will go further, is if your relationship is growing. But if your relationship, you have been chatting with a guy, doing same, same things, it's a year now, no any new step forward taken in the period of that one year or six months, you know that the relationship is going nowhere. Yeah. So what Stefan did, taking the next step, Mariana tells us Stefan introduced her to his family, went on a family dinner and then told the family about Mariana and the kids. His family was really, really happy about the news. And even after that, Mariana talked to Stefan's brother. I told you guys, introduction is very, very important. As coming from Africa, we always imagine that these white people don't have the culture of introducing, you know, the girlfriend, the fiance <laughs> to the family, just like we do in Africa. You think maybe they do something different. Maybe these white guys don't care. Girl, it matters a lot. <laughs> yes. So if you're chatting with a white guy, he should introduce you, but don't ask him to introduce you to the family. No, it's you to stay on that alert mode. Observe him if he's going to make that step of introducing you to his family and his loved ones. So after the introduction to his family, Mariana never talked to his parents. He has got both of his parents due to that in Ghana there is network problem so all the time I don't know how it happened but Mariana says all the time that Stephen wanted her to talk to his parents there was network problem <laughs> so she couldn't manage to talk to them eventually after four months of their relationship she was able to talk to his mom and dad and i know you are so curious now you want to know if stefan has got kids or if he has ever married no stefan never married and he doesn't have kids but now he has mariana's kids 
So guys, we see that Stefan introduced Mariana to his family. What of Mariana? <laughs> Mariana tells us after two weeks of chatting with Stefan, he was like, I want to see the kids. Introduce me to the kids because I want to be part of their life. Mariana told Stefan, no, hold on. <laughs> I cannot involve my kids in this until I am sure you are the one. I don't want to involve them and then later on come to discover you only came to play. It will hurt my kids. It's going to hurt me very, very much. So better put them apart for now until I am convinced that you are really seriously interested in me. <laughs> so what Stephen did told her, it's okay. I am going to wait for your time. Just take your time. And this is the sign of a good guy. This is the sign of a guy who is really interested in you. Not you're telling a guy, wait, give me some time. I'm not sure yet. I'm not convinced yet. If you are the one, then he starts being like, so you're doubting me. So you don't trust me. You have got trust issues. Maybe you're not over yet your ex. <laughs> you should go see the therapist. You're not for me. Bye. I wish you good luck. <laughs> No, 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 no. He did not act like that because he is a serious guy. When you meet those ones who will tell you, bye, you're still not over your ex, girl, block the guy before he finishes. Because <laughs> they are not serious. They're not seriously interested in you. But Stefan was really, really a real man who really wants Mariana. <laughs> That's why he waited. So guys, we have an Afro cinema. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> so Mariana tells us when she started chatting with Stefan, due to her past experience on online dating apps, guys running away from her immediately when she mentions that I've got six kids. <laughs> The guys disappear or he just starts to ghost you. They lose interest. <laughs> they start telling you, I only want to be your friend. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So after going through all that, she was like, now with Stefan, I see he is a good guy. I am not going to tell him immediately that I've got six kids. No. So what she told him, she had only four kids first. He was like, it's okay. I love kids. I'm really interested in you. There is no problem. <laughs> so as time went by, after Mariana seeing that things are getting really serious with Stefan, she decided to tell him the truth that, you know what, Stefan, I don't have only four kids. I've got six kids. Oh my God, I know she was so nervous that day of what could be his reaction. But Stefan was like, no problem, baby. I love you so much. I love kids. It's okay. It doesn't matter the number of your kids that you have. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> you who is watching this is like, no, Bella, this is not true. This story <laughs> may be an invented one. Guys, I'm not inventing things. And if time allows, I will make sure I make you listen to one of the voice notes from Mariana and another one from Stefan so that you believe the story is real. I'm not making up things. I'm someone who don't want to create false hopes. Hey, yes, you can find love even if you have seven kids. It's not a lie. It's true. Yes, you can find love no matter the number of your kids. And Mariana's story is an example. So from this, we have to learn something. I've been seeing you guys. You start your first message. You tell a guy everything about you. You tell a guy even about your job, what you are doing. That's very, very wrong. Yes. Let a guy find out. Tell a guy things slowly by slowly as time goes. But make sure you tell him, eh? don't keep everything as a secret. Because eventually he's going to find out. Because if Mariana kept 
that secret that I've got only four, then it's time to meet finds out she has got six kids, it was going to be very, very bad. So just go one step at a time. See how the guy treats you. See how a guy is attached to you, you know, emotionally attached. And then get to tell him things slowly by slowly. But if you start telling a guy everything about you day one, <laughs> You won't have things to talk about, you know, in the days to come. So let's learn something here. Always be honest, but don't give a guy all information at once. And about Stefan, oh my God, you are such a good guy. May God keep blessing you and keep with that good heart. So after telling Stefan and he was like, it's okay, baby, I love you so much. I don't care the number of the kids that you have. Then Mariana decided to introduce Stefan to the kids after Stefan had introduced her to his family. So he talked to the kids. The kids were really happy. He was so happy. He loves kids and also organized a video call with her sisters in Congo. Tells us his father lives in the village so he couldn't talk to Stefan. But the sister really liked Stefan because he's very, very social. And yes, guys, I agree. He's very, very social because after Mariana told her story, Stefan too told his story which is very very rare guys some guys when they hear about african bella they're like who is that <laughs> i don't want even to be seen you know <laughs> yeah but he talked to me and i was really really happy I appreciate much. Thank you again, Mariana and Stefan. So guys, let's continue with our story. So after talking to the kids, they really connected and even Mariana tells us she connects so much with Stefan, never connected with any man like the way she connects with Stefan. He is her best friend friend she can tell him anything can bring any joke very very free around him and that's when you know you have found the one when you feel comfortable around the guy when you feel at peace around the guy when you feel like he is your partner in crime <laughs> girl you have found him so stefan connected so much to the kids which made mariana feel at peace tells us only thinking about it makes her feel so at peace because he came into her life not to divide them not to divide the mother from her kids but connect them be together as a family which is very very good do not accept a guy who will only tell you that i love you but doesn't talk about your kids doesn't give a damn about your kids never accept such kind of a guy so guys now that stefan connected to the kids they made something like a family tradition whereby during the weekends stefan could call on a video call talk to the kids talk to mariana and also have a family movie night and sometimes they could just have a movie night the two of them without kids but that was the family tradition that they could do every weekend tells us from the time they exchanged whatsapp numbers have been communicating calling each other every single day. Never disappeared, never ghosted her, no excuses to communicate with her. Also added that Stefan has made Mariana and her kids his first priority, which is very, very important, guys. If you're searching for love on online dating apps, if you are a single mother, even if you're not a single mother, a guy you are dating you should be his first priority not a guy that puts you and your kids last that is not acceptable so friends we see everything is going very very well between mariana stefan and the kids how about meeting when did stefan talked about meeting her in person 
because yes you can love each other so much you can do everything together but to make your relationship real you need to meet in person so mariana tells us after five weeks of communicating stefan asked her can we meet in person is it okay if i come to visit you in ghana mariana was like yes of course you can come and also suggested come my birthday month but stefan told her no i cannot come your birthday month because it was very very near but let me prepare myself then i will come that is very very important a genuine guy you will see how open he is to you when you talk about meeting because if stefan never had any any plans of meeting mariana he was going to be like okay let's see so when do you think we can meet mm, i don't know let's see <laughs> he doesn't give you a clear answer but stefan was like let me prepare myself i think I can come March 2023. So when he told her I can manage to come March 2023, Mariana was like, okay, no problem, but <laughs> tells us deep inside her, mm, told herself, I don't believe, I don't believe this guy is gonna come. And when she was talking to me about this, Stefan was close to her. <laughs> he was laughing a lot. They were both laughing. <laughs> her not believing that he was going to come to Ghana. So friends, as we wait for Stefan to go to Ghana, let's hear a bit of a story about Stefan's experience on online dating apps. So Stefan, yes, was in a relationship before and then it did not work, decided to join online dating apps, but his intention wasn't to find a black African woman, no. Color wasn't a problem to him. He only wanted to find love, wanted to find a genuine woman. So guys, this is a bit of his part when he was telling me this story, you know, <laughs> to tell you that this story is real. It's not an invented story because I've been getting, you know, strange, strange comments. <laughs> okay, so let's hear from Stefan. The biggest challenge for me is to find someone who is honest and trustworthy. There are so many people um, on, on the dating app where you think it is a fake profile or some scammers say uh, just ask uh, uh, after your WhatsApp number, after hello, or just send their number. And it is very difficult when you get over 150 messages per day to really find that person that are honest and worth of your time and also where you have an idea that this could work so you see guys it's not only you that are facing challenges even serious men genuine men it's really difficult please keep working on your profiles if you send that first message at least make a unique one we see she sent only a hello i think she was just lucky and god was on her side but this shouldn't make you send hello too no put some effort on your first message so that you can stand out so stephen tells us after receiving her message what he did yes he went to see her profile and saw a very beautiful woman but with no more photos so this is what i've been trying to tell you your photos should be very attractive but don't go to those fancy places to take photos outside of the reality <laughs> you have to be real a guy should see that you are genuine just by looking at your photos very very important so after stefan responding to mariana and then they started communicating another thing that kept his love growing 
towards Mariana tells us they could chat, they could communicate and could see that the communication was flowing compared to other ladies that he was chatting to on online dating apps. So it is very, very important, guys. You know how to keep the conversation going. Something else that made Stefan keep on with the relationship tells us he could feel at peace communicating to Mariana. And after a long day at work, could feel at peace talking to her, communicating to her. Drama girls, <laughs> I hope you learn from this. Stop bringing drama, stop creating fights all the time. Give the guy peace that will make him die to talk to you every time. Imagine a guy comes from work, if it is a guy who is not serious, or if you're a lady, you are a drama queen, <laughs> He is tired, won't even want to talk to you. But because Mariana gave him peace, gave him happiness, he could feel like, oh my God, I should go home and talk to the love of my life. So the last thing that Stefan told me made him keep on the relationship with Mariana, keep loving her. It's when she refused to exchange WhatsApp numbers immediately. <laughs> Knew that mm, this lady knows what she is looking for. She is really, really serious. So that was a plus for her. If she gave her phone numbers immediately, I don't know what could be their story, but her waiting to get to know him was really a plus. So beautiful ladies, if you have a question like, were they talking of sex when they were still communicating in a long distance relationship before Stefan went to Ghana, the answer is no, never talked of sex. Actually, Mariana advises you that a guy who talks about phone sex, a guy who asks you for nude photos will never be serious. She was like, Bella, I know you talked about this, but please tell them again no nude photos, no phones, any talk and will never ever be serious. Another advice from Mariana, don't be so fast to exchange your WhatsApp numbers. So guys, let's go to his visit to Ghana. He started preparing and days were approaching. I remember Mariana writing to me a DM on Instagram for the first time telling me about this story. I was really, really happy. I was even shocked because I never heard a story of a single mother of six who found love on online dating apps. It was the first time. So I decided to share the news on my Instagram story here. That's how it was. <laughs> yeah, I talked about it and she was like, pray for me. I told her, girl, I am still praying for you. And she kept on praying too. And yes, days went fast. March came. The day for him to travel to Ghana arrived. So guys, that day Mariana prepared to go to the airport, told her friends to escort her. They took the taxi to the airport and tells us inside the taxi, her friends were talking, you know, making stories. And she is someone who is talkative. <laughs> tells us I am a very talkative lady, but that day I couldn't even talk. I was very nervous, very scary, you know, <laughs> happy at the same time with lots of mixed feelings. Her hands were shaking. So they went, arrived at the airport and received a message from Stefan that I have arrived but at the same time she received a message had seen him so she told herself i want to see how he's gonna react when he sees me but after seeing him she forgot everything went and hugged him so tightly was really really happy she was happy too you will hear her in the video that will show you next <laughs> her joking with her friends but tells us she felt really really good it was magical
after the airport guys you will be asking yourself did they go to the hotel no guys they did not go to the hotel they went to her place because she wanted Stefan to bond with the kids too, you know, live as the family than going to the hotel. I agree with her because she was sure the guy is the one, you know, going to the hotel and in her situation meant her leaving her kids alone, go to the hotel, stay with Stefan, exclude the kids, <laughs> go live in a honeymoon, you know, and reality. So him going to her house, it was really, really good and tells us it really helped a lot, a lot, a lot to bond with the kids and bond with him too because they live the reality and he gets to see her real life. So to the spoiling part, I know you expected the goodies. <laughs> no guys, we will arrive there. But for now, let's talk about the spoiling part. So I asked Mariana, was Stefan spoiling you when you were in a long distance relationship? Was he sending you money, gifts? <laughs> she was like, Bella, never. I've never asked him for money and he has never sent me any money in our long distance relationship. Guys, let's learn from her. We see she's a single mother of six. Doesn't she have problems? <laughs> You know, like taking care of her kids, pay her bills, pay school fees. Of course, yes, she has got all those problems. But as a strong woman, as a strong mother, you have to take care of your responsibilities. Here you are, you are single, you don't have any kid. You start chatting with a guy immediately. You're asking the guy money. I want to pay my rent. I don't know. I want money to buy this, buy that. We should stop. And Mariana tells you, if you see there is love, just be patient. Everything will happen. So after Stefan going to Ghana, guess what? All the money that he had brought, gave it to Mariana to take care of everything. And brought lots of gifts. Also tells us, he spoiled the kids even more than her. <laughs> so she was laughing too and Stefan was laughing about this. But he spoiled my kids the more. <laughs> but that makes a mother even more happier. Yeah. So guys, we go to the part that most of you like a lot. The goodies. <laughs> so when I asked her this, she was like, Bella. <laughs> You're asking me about the goodies. <laughs> okay, I shared the goodies, but not on the first day. And I'm not going to talk a lot into details, but after waiting for so long without sharing the goodies, I can tell you it was so good. We enjoyed a lot. It was top, 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 top. <laughs> so it was perfect. <laughs> So good. Let us, you know, stop here on the goodies. Go next. Continue with our story. So he stayed with her at her house. Everything was really good. Tells us he is such a good guy. Could help her in everything. Help her cook. If she cooks today, then tomorrow he cooks. Even wanted to help her wash their clothes but she refused stefan is a husband material but i can tell you he's also a good father because he has been treating so so good mariana's kids tells us he even went to the school where her kids studies tells us her kids are so so bright so went and met the teachers you know gave some gifts to kids oh my god this is so so beautiful and even before he left mariana had a meeting at school and as she was preparing stefan told her we are going together can you imagine guys he is really really good Mar mariana you are blessed and may god keep blessing your relationship so dear friends stefan was supposed to stay in ghana for three weeks 
and after three weeks returned to German. So when I talked to Mariana, actually it was this weekend, she was like, Bella, I feel sick. Even the kids are sick. I was like, what's happening? We are very, very sad because my boyfriend just left yesterday. Oh my God, they were so down, they're missing him because she tells us they really enjoyed so much. And even the time that I talked to Stefan, he was like, I'm super, super happy with my girlfriend and the kids. We're really having a very good time. You can see true love, yes. So friends, their next plan, Mariana will go to Germany see his family, see his life, and after that, they are going to get married. But I promise you, I am going to update you in every step that they take. Because the story is here, I think it is good for me to keep updating you about this beautiful couple. Yes, so, so that is the beautiful love story. Let us wish them all the best in their relationship. So guys, with her advice, I'm going to make you listen to it <laughs> just from her to confirm that this story is real. Just listen to her, you know, words from her mouth straight. <laughs> advice to women that are about to give up in all and it, please, please, sisters, don't give up. I think everyone deserves love and love is beautiful don't don't yes. think about your past relationship the things that you are going to exactly. that for you to give up on love he has someone for everyone just be patient and you find love even when you are not expected it you find it because i didn't expect find it i was believing in love i know whatever love but it just happened like when i didn't expect it to happen and you find love and another advice i'll give is for single mom that are really looking for love please please my sister think first about your kids let your kid come first in any relationship that you want to start with let your kids make sure that that man is someone that loves you just the way you are if you have kids the matter number of kids you have you can see fan love is possible and with god everything are possible just make sure that man loves you and love your children don't let a man that will come to divide you with your children but you need a man that is a keeper that to keep you and children together that can the kind of mother you need because our our children are very important to us we don't need very, to very. bring tos, toxic situation drama to our children's life because of our bad choice and our bad decision though so you need to be sure that man really love you and love your children and that man is ready to have a good relationship with your children that's the man that you go for. Not just any man because the man say love you. Is he love your children? Is he willing to accept them? Is he willing to build a relationship with them? That's my advice for the woman out there. And another advice, put God first in everything. Just pray. Oh, yes. Just pray and ask God. With God, everything is possible. Just pray. Ask God the desire of your heart, what you want. I think our God is faithful and is a prayer answer. Always. He can answer your prayer. If you can did it if he did it for me, Why can do it you? for you. So that was her advice, a very, very strong, good advice. I think you heard her. So I also asked her if she has got any advice to any lady that is watching me. Let's hear from her. What's her advice? My advice with every lady that is watching your video, I think we are blessed to have someone like you that called to have sent us someone like you, a sister like you that encourage us <laughs> every day with your video. That thank you, thank you. You really thank you. you really it helped me a lot because when I started after two months, I think I give up. 
because it was so stressful so for people that come all this all kind of people they are coming not sure you know, that i was so frustrated that i said no 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 i can't do this but after two months of giving up delete my profile i was still in your in your youtube in your channel watching the video why well, i want to watch the video has inspired me i said no you can do this if others they can't find love you can find love too i was so your your your, your video and called give me the strength I, I said you. yes i can find love i'll go back that's why i went back when i went back i think it take me only eight months because i was I was very prepared to follow all the advice that you was giving. That I you give us a, 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 a to know a, if a man is serious online, if a man is serious. Yes, those, yes. All those videos, our the tips, I will follow the tips one by one. And I think I really play, did my part, and God did his part too. Sure. I heard that. You don't need to give up. Just take the advice Bella is giving us every day in practice and believe in God. Have faith. Have determination. If you really want to oh, love, yes. believe in it. I show you that you found true love. You had her. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Mariana. Thank you for appreciating. Thank you for doing your part too, because if I only do my part, it's very hard to succeed. You have to do your part by putting things into practice. You have to pray too. So to the big question, which kind of a dating app or dating site did Mariana meet Stefan? They met on <laughs> Afro introductions. Yes, guys. That is why last video I was telling you to be really serious on Afro introductions because it is very, very possible. We see this story happened September 2022, not so long because that's when they met for the first time on Afro introductions. Just know how to use it follow the tips that i give here so guys stefan talks of the few culture shocks that he found in ghana one of them is electricity sometimes it goes he says that most of the things that are common here in europe in ghana you will miss them but most of all what really shocked him is that for him he imagined that maybe as a european guy being in ghana it will be so problematic people won't be friendly but was surprised to see that people were so welcoming very friendly with him <laughs> could ask him questions which really made him so happy even the things that he could miss being in germany like having electricity all the time gas good streets you know could not make him feel sad because he was really happy enjoying good time with his girlfriend and the kids so stefan's advice to men if any european man comes across this video tells you you should be real you should be genuine because when you are real when you are genuine you are serious you will surely find same same woman that is real that is serious but if you're fake of course you will come across only fake women so dear friends we have come to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate much god bless you if you've liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video please please i would like to know watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot subscribe please if you have not subscribed join the family thank you for subscribing until next time i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.